our last lesson, we switched from static kittens over to an API call, which worked really great when we click Get Kittens. We can switch between each kitten then. However, we'd like to load this up as soon as it's available, so instead of clicking a button. So let's go ahead and remove our button, first of all. And then instead of kittens, we're just going to directly get the Get Kittens function back. So we've already specified this as async. We don't need to set kittens anymore. We're just going to return the values. And so this is now going to return a promise based on these values. So the thing down here, kittens already understands that that is not available and we need to pass in something like get kittens. If we were to do this, it's going to complain though because it's a promise. So the first thing that we have to do is add an await block. So let's take out this part. So let's add the await block here. We're going to await and get kittens function. And then we're going to say getting kittens. After that completes, so after the, the promise comes back, we're going to then, just like a normal promise and then, then have kittens. And all of those kittens should come in to this as an array of kittens. And then if we have any issues and we want to catch that into an error, and of course, the last thing that we want to do is close out our wait block. So let's also put the error out here. Actually, let's do something fun with error just in case. Let's try this out. Um, so let's do a div class error. And then we'll put an error. And down here, we'll do dot error. Then let's do a background color of red. So that shows up. Okay, so at this point, we are no longer getting an error, as you can see, and we already have all of our buttons. See how they're changing each time as it comes in? And we can click any of our buttons as our defaults. So those will all load different cats. If we refresh again, we get different IDs and different cats that we can load up. So it's a pretty fun way to iterate through. Weight can be kind of a problem as it's sitting through there. Let's go ahead and inspect this once and you should see in the awaiting section for each kittens, you should see this. So if I go to network and let's throttle it down to um, fast 3G and let's see what happens. See how it says getting kittens right here? So as the API call finishes up, then we actually display the blocks. So that's the getting kittens part of the await block. Now let's see if I can get it to throw an error. So let me just put a bad number in there. There's your syntax error. So it gives you all kinds of nice control within a simple await block. So you don't have to do a lot of manual things once you're getting that data.